15th century to 17th century, uh, these ideas that are alternatively described as a Western esotericism, which has a revival from about uh, 1770 onwards due to the renewed desire for mystery and interest in the Middle Ages and romantic reaction to the rationalist alignment uh, alchemy has common among highly important 17th century scientists such as Isaac Newton and Goldfried Leibniz. Uh, Newton has been accused of interest, introducing occult agency into natural science when he postulated gravity as a force of cable of the acting over uh, vast uh, distances. By the 18th century, this unorthodox religion and philosophical concern were well defined as occult in as much as they lay on outer, outermost fringe and of accepted form of knowledge of discourse. They were, however, preserved by antiquarians uh, and mystics based on this research into modern German occult revival 1890 and 1910 uh, Godfrey Clark put forward a thesis on the driving force behind occultism. Behind its many varied from form apparently lies on uniform function as a strong desire to reconcile uh, the findings of modern natural science with the religion view that could restore, could restore man to position of uh, centrally and dignity uh, in universe. Since that time, many authors have emphasized uh, the Socratic approach by drawing parallel between different disciplines. Direct insights into our perception of occult does not usually consist of access to physical measurable facts, but, uh, it, but uh, is derived at through the, the mind, the spirit, the term can refer to mental, psychological or spiritual training. Many occultists have studied science perceiving science as an adjunct to alchemy, to any validity to the accrued knowledge uh, in a day and age where the mystical can easily be undermined as a flight of fancy. Uh, and all sides means of gaining insight into occult is used a focus physical object and ritualistic action for example meditation and chanting or uh, a medium in which one becomes wholly Im immersed uh, these are just few examples of vast and numerous avenues that can be explored uh, to occultist, uh, occultism is convinced of as a study in inner natural things as opposed to outer characteristics that are studied by science. And German philosophers Arthur Schopenhauer designed this inner natural with the term of will and suggests that science and mathematics are unable to penetrate behind the relationship between one thing and another in order to explain inner natural of uh, the things itself depending on any external causal relationship other things. Schopenhauer also points forward this inherently uh, relativeness take natural of the mathematics and conventional science in his formulation the word as we by definition a thing solely in the terms of its external relationship or effects 
we only find it is external and explicit nature. Occultism, on the other hand, is a concern with the nature of the things in itself. It's often accomplished through the direct perceptional awareness as no mysticism. From the scientific perspective, occultism is regarded as a unscientific as it does not make use of standard scientific method to obtain facts.